very special greetings from your world church family to all of you as members of the Korean Union. What a wonderful opportunity on April 27, Religious Liberty Sabbath, to praise God for how He has led and guided in a recent South Korea Supreme Court ruling. Uh, what an opportunity to praise the Lord for the court that upheld the religious freedom in a landmark law school admission case where an individual had appealed through the court system to allow, based on religious beliefs, to allow that person to have uh, interview and connections not on the seventh day Sabbath. We just thank God for the way He has led and for the uh, wonderful uh, indication from the court that yes, they would uphold the religious rights of the Seventh-day Adventist student. Praise God for religious freedom in South Korea. We thank God for the way in which He has led in this particular situation and others. But let me urge you to pray earnestly and to work diligently for religious liberty is as a result of constant vigilance, constantly looking to make sure that leaders in the country, leaders in the judicial system, others who are very instrumental in forming uh, the laws and the approaches uh, to life, that they understand the beauty of religious liberty. I want to encourage you as you pray for your leaders in the country, as you praise God for how He has led, to remember the instruction Joshua gave the children of Israel as he was giving his farewell address. And on this Sabbath, uh, celebrating religious liberty and this particular court ruling, I want to encourage you to remember these words in Joshua 23 and verse 6 and then verse 8. It says in verse 6, Be very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, lest you turn aside from it to the right hand or to the left. In other words, Joshua is telling us through the inspiration of God, keep your focus upon the fundamental pillars of Scripture and what God has indicated, and don't allow cultural uh, institutions, uh, cultural influences, uh, those strange, uh, errant, uh, unfortunate theological beliefs that are not biblical, things that are flying through the air uh, in, in society today, and even in the church, don't allow any of those to take away your focus on Christ and His message for this time. Don't go to the right or to the left. Stay focused in the middle of the road on the wonderful truth as we have it in Jesus. Lifting up Christ and His righteousness, which is the very core of the three angels' messages of Revelation 14, turning people back to the true worship of God. May God bless each one of you in South Korea. And we praise God uh, for what He has done for you, each member, and for the Korean Union in this wonderful Supreme Court ruling. Uh, God also has said in verse 8, something I want to encourage you with, in Joshua 23, verse 8, Hold fast to the Lord your God. May the Lord help you to hold fast to His precious promises, for Jesus is coming soon. Let me pray with you. Father in heaven, we thank you for the way you have led with the South Korean Supreme Court and its ruling in favor of our Seventh-day Adventist student. We ask that you will bless uh, the, uh, those who are on the Supreme Court, that you will bless the leaders of the country, that you will bless your people in uh, South Korea, and that you will bless the general population. Help people to look to you and your biblical uh, foundation so that they too will be able to understand fully 
what it means to be living in the end of time just before Jesus' coming. Thank you for hearing us in this prayer, and thank you that we can enjoy religious liberty. Help us in the parts of the world where we are enjoying that to continue to focus on helping others to always know the benefits of religious liberty. And in parts of the world where religious liberty is so scarce, we pray that you will come to enlighten leaders and help them to know that one of the great foundations of a country is its permission for citizens to have religious liberty and freedom of conscience. Thank you for hearing us and thank you for the promise of Jesus' soon return. In Christ's name we ask it, amen.